Pietro is making for us coffee. Making coffee for us. <laughs> I'm still waking up. I'm still waking up. <laughs> but we just, I'm not sure what, we just dropped the mooring ball. It was over there. And we are on our way. And I think we're going to eat the, the side. So let me just quickly adjust a little bit here. Nice even number there. Let's see if we I'm going to miss this jungle. And then we off. So the sun is busy coming up. And the current is going that direction. Quite pretty strong. You see our um, doing around four more knots and there's about six knots that we're going. So it's it's a very nice current pushing us down the river and we hope to be outside of the river maybe in three to four hours time but we are saying goodbye to the Amazon jungle we are two crazies from South Africa that is Frick and Pietru we decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full-time on our new home Sisu One of the issues of approaching a bridge, especially if the current is going in the direction of the bridge, is like this. Look, 2.7 knots, see 6.1, 4. So it's around, well, according to the calculations, 2.6 knots of current. And if your engines cannot overcome that, and you realize you cannot get fit under the bridge, then you're in serious trouble because you cannot go against the current at that stage. Okay, so this is what 3.8 knots of current looks like. Thank goodness we are going with it. Okay, our resident birdies, um, I think they've made a nest in there now. And I want to get rid of them before we hit the ocean. Shame, man, they mustn't. We're not going to last because we're going to raise the sail. And there's big fighting going on with all the other little males that's trying to just move into the new nest. So we exited the Suriname River mouth and just look at this. It's like a definite, definite line. Oh, say. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah, we're motoring here in very, very mercury, brown, yucky water. Okay. It's mud. It's mud. It's not even like there is like a clear layer at the top. It's just concrete. It's just sand. Oh, mud. mud. <laughs> it's horrible. Can't wait to flash the toilet with clear water. Yeah, that will be awesome. And <laughs> That's so we, disgusting. We cannot oh. use the, the water maker and all of that. But Suriname was nice. It was a complete different experience. Um, yeah, so I'm different. glad we did it. I'm glad it was a short stay. But we got to see the slots. We got to it's see squirrel monkeys. squirrel monkeys. We got to see snakes. <laughs> a couple of snakes. Uh, obviously a lot of jungle. And it's like real tropical, it, 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 it rains every, every, every single day. day. Now so, solar panels didn't perform as come to the party. Um, it worked, um, if, we, we, if we don't use any dehumidifiers or things like that, then we can survive. Down the mold started and mold. taking oh. over the boat. It just kick us a little bit away from yeah. this. So it might just be all for the good that we Yeah, so the reason why we left is that I think you guys have already heard about it. Um, the United Nations required my skills and it's not that I've got a unique skill set, but uh, they, they, they really wanted me to be in Iraq and I couldn't find a flight out of here. So we came out of Hurricane Zone to be able to be 
that Pietro and Sisu will be safe from hurricanes. It was a serious lockdown and when, the, when we came out of the lockdown, all the flights were fully booked and the travel agents couldn't find an open space for me. So if, if, if something should happen, at least it's just a short run south, if yeah. there should be a hurricane approaching south, I'll just get one or two crew members on board and then yeah. um, just head south and hang around in the ocean and then go back up again. Yes. We lingered one more day because we heard that it is a, not actually, it was predicted that there will be a lull and it seems like the lull is still here. Very hot, no wind, but look at this. We are frying. And Pietro did all the washing. Because we can finally start our water maker, so lots of washing has been done. And of course the engines is running. And Pietro is sitting over there. Watching the fish go by. <laughs> Wish, wishful thinking. <laughs> but we won't give up trying. We don't give up trying. We even have the fishing lines out. You can see the fishing lines is out over there. And we even had some chicken on it, so let's see what we, we catch with chicken. Not sure fish like chicken. You cannot hear that music. You're not allowed to. <coughs> Copyrights or something like that. So we just got our code D up. And we are now having the lines getting dried out and even here all these lines and the fenders here and even the code D sail but just look at that the nice code D is up and we do that because it is so humid in Suriname that we had to really now open it up now it's like nice and breezy and and the air is not that humid so we switch even the air conditioners on it while for a while just to get all the humid humidity out of here. Not sure we'll get everything out, but it is time for a rumpy and a wine. Days like these last With one another With the feeling pass Would you find out with me If it all starts to come Search the pieces for hope or more. Hey! Have we got something? I think we have something. What is it? Not sure. That's Not very fish. big. It's a fish. <laughs> what are we having for dinner? It's a wow. It's a little wow. Oh, wow. Two huge fillets. Looks like it could be a wow wow. Um, it's the first time we've caught one of these. But it looks absolutely yum. It's not for me to decide. Better. 
better to say goodbye I've now been trying to download on Android from um, Predict Wind. Actually, basically, Redeem Go for the last 20 minutes. And it has not even started yet. It seems like the Redeem Go network is just not performing the way they advertise. It says connected, signal strength is 5 But Nothing is downloaded Wow, 47 minutes and We still don't have anything there yet. There's a reason why Elon Musk Starlink is going to make a success these guys just don't cut it. If it was on a website, the predict wind will get it very fast. But on the rhythm go, well, it's still trying to download after almost an hour. Okay, so on this trip, Frick discovered for the first time that we've been furling the deep code the wrong way around. So the UV protection was on the inside and not the outside. Now he's been very brave to climb out on the bowsprit. And because um, we, we pre-talked the, the, what do you call that? That thing so that the code falls easier. So we have to pre-talk it now the other way around. Curling it now is going to curl it now the other way around. And the poor Genoa has been out in the sun for over two years. So fortunately, not to too much damage, but when we get to Granada, the sail right is out. I will do some maintenance work on the sail and the covers and on everything. I need now to talk it until the top starts to fill. Top down filling. So first thing you have to do is you have to untie the foot here and then you talk it in the direction that you want to fill and then when you see the top is starting to fill then you know there's enough tension in the, in the tension bar, top bar to fill and that's then that you that you tie the glue again and, uh, but it looks like it is funny now as well So we were sitting having a nice sunset cocktail and then the stowaway came and made himself very comfortable here. Yeah. <coughs> and we came in last, last late last night. I were 
yellow flag is up. Our first dinghy dock in Grenada in St. George's. And we need to check in. And we need to go under quarantine and look where we have to sit and wait. So we're sitting in a Corona thing. <laughs> And they don't even serve Corona beers here. No Corona beer. So the person is coming on duty at 10 o'clock only. Eh? About an hour's time. Okay, we so have to call her. <laughs> so we need to check in. Check in for quarantine, not check into Granada. Check in for quarantine. Yeah. It's very strange times. And we've got the dock manager person taking care on the weekend to go buy us a beer while we wait. How cool is that? But at least we've got a nice view. And he went with a dinghy <laughs> <laughs> to buy a beer. <laughs> now the club, the yacht club is not open yet, so they're going to go buy in the store, which is much cheaper, he said. Would we be better off? 